What's up guys? Thanks for joining me for another Vlogmas day. Today is day 15. Wow, it's been way more than half uh, the time now doing Vlogmas. Wow. You know, Vlogmas is 25 days. You're vlogging for 25 days. It's way past the halfway mark. And to be honest, it's been going so well and so smoothly that it doesn't even feel like it. I can't believe I've been vlogging continuously for 15 days. Now, I did vlog miss my first year going into YouTube. And to be honest, that I was having anxieties to do this year because I didn't do last year. I did that my first year, didn't do the next year, and now I'm doing this year. So I kind of had a little bit of anxiety. Um, and, uh, and hesitation of coming back to do vlogmas because thinking about how it was the first time but I think with my experience in doing YouTube videos from that that first time to now fast forward like two years later it's been an easier transition it's been easier for me to just go 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 because I know the program more I know how to uh, film more like kind of get an idea of like what I'm gonna film subjects and scenes and stuff like that um, I think that's helped a lot with the experience and I really want to get into doing more vlogs and so I thought doing vlogmas would get me more comfortable of actually uh, creating content for vlogging as to before where I would just do like certain videos it was all like single base subject like oh, this is what I'm gonna make a video on and that's it this one is just kind of like vlogging you're vlogging your day or how it you know or whatnot and so it's a little bit been more um, it's a little different and so going into vlogmas doing vlogmas and I think it's really helped me and it's helped me feel more comfortable even more comfortable talking to you guys on a camera and being okay with me talking to a camera and no one else and people around me but I'm talking to a camera and that get that that is that is a little bit of hard obstacle to kind of get past because you just feel so awkward even with my family with my wife and the kids I feel awkward just sitting there talking to the camera and you know they're around like watching like what you, you know but I think it's gotten me out of that and I've been able to just vlog even when I'm out I can just vlog I don't, I don't pay attention to anything around me or like anyone else but if they see me and they, they're like well, what's he doing I don't really pay attention to it as much anymore and I think with over over time the more I do it I won't even pay attention to those people I don't care because I'm not doing it for them I'm doing it for me and I'm doing it for you guys that enjoy watching my videos so that's all that really matters not people that are like that don't know who you are and just walking and seeing you talking to a camera and going that guy's weird I am weird so so what I'm also a nerd so it doesn't matter but anyhow I'm just ranting um I guess or I'm just going off tangent there but with that said um, let's get into this video. We're gonna do a Christmas video. So it's Christmas theme video, finally. I know the last few videos just kind of like what I'm doing and the last one is like a workout video during Vlogmas, but this one is gonna be all Christmas related. And it's something that, it just, just makes you feel good and warm and fuzzy inside and just gives you that holiday feeling, you know? Let's get into this video. Let's get this video started with my top five favorite Christmas movies. Coming at number five, Scrooged. Oh, I'm so relieved it's been so long. Hello, Frank. I'm the ghost of Christmas present. I had a funny feeling. Uh, why <laughs> did you do that? Sometimes you have to slap them in the face just to get their attention. This is an 80s classic, 1988 to be exact, starring Bill Murray as Frank Cross. Now this movie is just, Scrooge is like, it's not an actual retelling of Christmas Carol, 
it's actually kind of putting that like that story of uh, a Christmas Carol and having it happen to someone in real life or in you know their terms because Frank Cross is a TV exec he runs a network and he's actually for a Christmas holiday he's actually producing or producing a Christmas Carol for his network so they're actually doing a live Christmas Carol uh, production of it so Christmas Carol does live in his universe and so this is just kind of like this the spirit of that show it's kind of like an urban legend like an urban legend coming true to him or happening to him in a sense so it's not an actual retelling of Christmas Carol per se so that's the cool thing about it it's just another way to have the essence of Christmas Carol play on to the actual characters which is cool again that is really cool and there's like a lot of, lot of star packed like cast it's got Karen Allen it's got um, what's his name uh, John Glover aka Lionel Luther if you watch Smallville like I did uh, that's like all I know him as I've seen him in like I've seen him in like this movie before but now like he really kind of sticks to me because he's he was Lionel Luther and then it's even got you even got Bobcat Goldwit or Waith I always never say no know how to say his name right but um yeah he's in it and he's like pretty much like downplay it considering like the character he is he his, this character that he plays in here is kind of like subdued it's kind of like mellow compared to his normal character bobcat if you guys know who bobcat gold with it you know about his character bobcat and so it's it's totally like a subdued version of him which is crazy it's like weird you don't even notice it until you you actually look at it and just listen to his voice and you're like oh it's bobcat but yeah he's in it and then you even got freaking um Lee Majors in it I mean the six million dollar man is in it yeah that's that's how old I am I know who Lee Majors is um but yeah he's in it and so it's it's amazing it's just it's just a fun like movie to watch and it's just one of the, one of the movies that brings me back to my childhood so yeah so my top my number five is Scrooged Number four, Polar Express. Take it. It says... No. It's nothing I need to know. Tom Hanks, I mean, come on. Tom Hanks is in it. So that alone makes it a good movie. But Polar Express is just another one of those movies that just hits that holiday feel, you know, gives you that holiday feel. Especially the whole theme and moral of the story about believing, about always believing in the spirit of Christmas. No matter how old you get, can't forget that feeling and belief in Christmas. Yeah, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. When you get older, you're like, you believe it less about Santa Claus, but does it mean that you have to stop believing in the spirit of Christmas? The spirit of Christmas isn't just, just about Santa Claus, this person that goes around and gives gifts. It's just about you giving to other people. So that is just another one of those movies that just makes me feel good makes me feel like it's the holidays Ooh, shoot. whenever i watch that movie or like when you get when you're a parent you become a parent and you know you have kids that want to believe in christmas you gotta put yourself back there again if you've lost your wave you gotta you gotta kind of like put yourself back there and just believe but polar express is one of those um feel good holiday movies. Number three, Home Alone. Super shallow washing every body part with actual soap, including all my major crevices, including in between my toes and in my belly button, which I never did before, but sort of enjoyed. I wash my hair with adult formula shampoo and use cream rinse for that just wash shine. 
I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Ah! I mean, it's a classic, Home Alone. I mean, I can like totally relate because I was home alone often. Now, my parents didn't go on exotic trips or any like trips overseas or anything, but they did go to bingo. You know, it would always be left home alone. So to me, it was nothing. And so when there was a movie about a kid left alone, I'm like, <laughs> that's like me. And just like Kevin McAllister, life went on. I didn't freak out about it. You know, I don't freak out about it. You just move on, act grown up. And that's exactly what he did. And he had a blast doing it. He didn't miss anyone at all. And that was awesome. And he just, you know, manned up and took care of himself and the house. I mean, it's just, it's just a classic. It's just awesome. So that, I mean, so that totally reminds me of my childhood. And I used to watch it um, when I was a kid. That was one of the movies I'd watch when I was a kid because I actually had the VHS for it because I was home a lot. You know, my sisters had their families. They lived close by. You know, my brother was doing his comic thing traveling New York and all that good stuff to conventions and stuff. So he was busy and I didn't mind at all. So that was just one of the greatest movies. And who could forget about that part? That was just like hilarious because it's so true. Because after shave stuff really stung. Not so much the more, but I mean, this is the classic. So, my number three movie is going to be Home Alone. Number two A Christmas Story. Do you not love it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's right. Care, care. Oh, they run all over. Close it up. Close it up. Can I, can I try it out, Ma? Can I? No. You just can't go wrong with this movie. Now, this movie has just got so many classic scenes and so many classic lines. It's all memorable that you just just remember as a childhood when you watched it like numerous times like I did. You know, and every year they play from 8 p.m. Christmas Eve to 8 p.m. Christmas Day. So a full 24 hours of a Christmas story. I always find myself just watching. You know, growing up as a kid, I was picturing myself as Ralphie and stuff, wanting a BB gun uh, to play with and whatnot. And then as I grew older, I kind of see myself more like the dad, you know, um, trying to look for his major award to accept. So it's just, it just such a classic movie with so many classic lines. And to be honest, like I said, I grew up like being like Ralph wanting a BB gun to play with because that's what was cool back then. We wanted a BB gun. As he got older, he became more like the dad. He's a good dad, you know, he has to provide for his family and all that and stuff. So that is just, it's just, it's just an awesome movie. It's just memorable to me and it just brings back a lot of my childhood um, in that. Much like all these other movies, they all bring up a little bit of my childhood and growing up and remembering everything, but 
that that tongue on a pole and oh the ending with the jingle bells in the Chinese restaurant. Classic. Pulls a little bit. Still got it. See, I mean, that's childhood right there. I just remember doing that a lot with my GI Joes and stuff. Here, I'm doing it with Pepper's treats. Hope Pepper doesn't get mad at me because these treats have been shot at. But yeah. So number two, it's Christmas story. Number one, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. This is my number one favorite Christmas movie. It's just, just fun and I just love how they do the, um, the whole um, advent calendar thing, they do the countdown. And Clark, when I was a kid, my favorite part was when Clark went sledding and he put that like secret lubricant spray on his sled and just went, <laughs> you know, that was, that was fun. That was hilarious. I don't know, it's just a great family movie because it's just like, you know, Clark trying to get the family all there to celebrate Christmas. And it just it's just awesome, you know, to see to have that and see that and and the reason now okay, here's the thing though. Christmas story was my number one before for the longest time because you know, Ralphie and stuff like that growing up, being like Ralphie, like thinking about Ralphie. And um National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was actually number two. But again, as I got older and became a dad myself. I see myself more as Clark Griswold. I don't know. I just feel like more like Clark. And especially a couple vlogmases ago, I was up on the roof putting up Christmas lights. All I could think about was Clark Griswold. So, I mean, it's just, so it just, it just makes even more like this is the movie. You know, this is my movie um, because I just can relate to him more about you know make trying to make the holidays as special as you can for the family in fact i'm watching right now this scene right here alone i mean even the opening scene of them getting the tree is just so many endless scenes that are just so memorable <laughs> it's just hilarious i mean come on this is just it's just a great movie just it's just awesome Anyhow, that is my list right there. That is my number one top favorite Christmas movie. So yeah, I am super interested to know what your top five is. Just comment them down below in the comments and let me know what your top five Christmas movies are. It, it's, I really wanna know what your guys, you guys are probably way different from mine, but you know, but that's the whole point. If everyone has their special. Christmas list uh, of movies and stuff of holiday movies all right guys so that is going to do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys had fun with I had fun you know trying to come up with scenes to kind of relate to what I'm talking about I didn't really want to just do it where I'm just sitting here in one spot or standing in one spot and just going down the list I kind of want to do it throughout the day so I hope it turned out well. It's my first time doing something like that, so hopefully I can do some other stuff like that. But but at the end, at the end, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope to hear from you guys and see what your top five Christmas movies are. Alright guys, that is it. I will catch you guys in the next vlog, which is 
tomorrow.